Aristotle wrote the Nicomachean Ethics in the 4th century BC. It contains 10 books that discuss ethics as a theory of good action that enables a good and life in happiness. His work begins with assessing happiness as the common human goal in life. Even though all humans have a normative conception of what it or what the good is, eudaimonia in Greek, Aristotle discovers that true happiness is seldomly achieved. But perhaps saying that happiness is the chief good sounds rather platitudinous, and one might want its nature to be specified still more clearly. It is possible that we might achieve that if we grasp the characteristic activity of a human being. And this characteristic activity is virtuous action, in accordance with reason. An autonomous act that strives for an autark good. Aristotle explains our actions are often influenced by affection or calculation. Both aspects corrupt behavior. The best example is being lavish or greedy instead of generous, or reckless or cowardish instead of brave. For Aristotle, only balanced behavior endorsed by reason and directed towards virtue will allow us to live a good life and achieve happiness. But what are those virtues? The virtues are rational choices or at any rate involve rational choice. So if the virtues are neither feelings nor capacities, it remains that they are states. And these states involve attitudes such as courage, generosity or sincerity. Virtuous behavior that is located in between vices of deficiency or vices of excess are the middle path. It is the virtuous path. But becoming a virtuous person does not come by a single action and involves constant learning and acting on behalf of virtuous ideals. Only through a practical experience we can become better at being virtuous. Aristotle argues that the best way to pursue a virtuous life is to be prepared by education and to foster virtuous behavior through good friendship, which is more or less a virtue by itself. Aristotle believed that ethics based on virtue have to be learned. A young person has to learn the wrongs and rights by education, otherwise he will tend to excessiveness or deficiency, extremes of pursuing lust or rejecting them. Beyond that, Aristotle dedicated two books in his work to the subject of friendship. He insisted that there is no learning of virtues by a person without friends. Friendship benefits the young by keeping them from making mistakes and the old by caring for them and helping them to finish jobs they are unable to finish themselves because of their weakness. And it benefits those in their prime by helping them to do noble actions, two going together, since with friends they are more capable of thinking and acting. There needs to be on one side a relational mirror that affords us to act on behalf of what is virtuous in the eyes of another, while on the other side, maintaining good friendships is a continuous practice of the virtues that do not just benefit our character, but also that of our friend. Aristotle thought that ethics and how one should act to live a good life is based on applied virtues, a process that never ends in life, in which reason shall encourage us to choose balanced and thoughtful behavior that does serve none other purpose than being virtuous. Because the real good is self-sufficient and autark. According to him, how virtuous a person was can only be evaluated after his death, and that's why he already states early in his work that the human good turns out to be activity of the soul in accordance with virtue, and if there are several virtues, in accordance with the best and most complete. Again, this must be over a complete life. For one swallow does not make a summer, nor one day. Neither does one day or a short time make someone blessed and happy.